All right, so it's Saturday and my new springs just made it in. I didn't think they were gonna be here till like Tuesday, so that's pretty awesome. But here they are, just the replacement 10 kgs. Here's the part number if you wondered there. It's pretty much 62 millimeters wide and 200 millimeters tall, which is like eight inches, seven inches, whatever. And then the other rating, the, the zero 10, the, that's the kg, like the load rating. So these are like $85 off like eBay. They're just literally replacement springs. I mean, nothing fancy. I'll probably get another set to replace the rear uh, next, but these are fine. They're just fucking rusty. Like I'll just put them on and see how they ride. But yeah, I'm about to uh, put all these together, measure them and get them installed. All right, so these are the front coils with the new springs. I mean, you can tell they look pretty much almost brand new. The old springs with the rust and a bit of wear. Eventually, I'm gonna get some more of these and put them on the rear, both being 10 kg, since my car is a little heavier than most. Uh, I got all the preloads set pretty much, and the uh, I got the height pretty much where I want it, and then I'll kind of adjust it from there on the car, but the fronts are about five inch to the collar. And then the rears are four, so, which is really close to how they were from Japan. So I just kind of want to see where the car is sitting and then I'll adjust it from there, but they're pretty much together. Uh, I just got to put them on the car now, which I haven't even started taking the rears off or the front, but I'll get them uh, swapped over. I'll just do one side at a time and I'll, uh, I'll update you. All right, so I'm about to take the rear wheels off and uh, get to the rear springs. You actually have to go through the trunk and it's them right there. So I'll get them taken out and uh, installed at least on this side and see where the car is sitting and then adjust if I have to. All right, so I went about that a little wrong and uh, I was trying to hammer out my adjustment point on my subframe. Apparently it was damaged in the car accident that this car was in. Yeah, you drop the control arm from the front instead of trying to do it from the back because that's just too damn hard. And you won't be able to get a swing the strut out. So if you were to swing that back up, put the bolt in, bolt this up, bolt the sway bar up, and the top bolts up here. Which these are super easy. I mean that ain't shit. So I'll install that real quick and I'll do the other side too because I already have it apart now. And uh we'll set it down and see where it sits. 